Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import your browser data from one browser to another. This could include browser data like bookmarks or passwords or history and things like that. For example, this will allow you to switch from an older browser to a newer browser that you might prefer and you can still keep all your browsing data and pick up where you left off. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so in this case, I'm going to be demonstrating switching from Safari to Google Chrome. However, this process will work very similarly on all different browsers. So, um, if you're switching to any Chromium-based browser, the um, process will essentially be almost exactly the same. And same thing, if you're switching from another browser other than Safari, it will be a generally simpler process. Sometimes it will be even easier from another browser, such as a Chromium-based browser, just because uh, the way Apple works with their bookmarks is a little bit different to other browsers, but you should be able to follow along no matter what browsers you're using. So first of all, what we have to do is export the bookmarks from Safari. So today I am going to be demonstrating um, using bookmarks. However, this can be used for other types of data as well. So I've opened up Safari here and what you'll notice is it's just on the home page. I don't really need to do anything in the browser other than what I'm going to do is go up to file and go down to export here in Safari. And you can either select to export bookmarks or passwords. Now they're a little bit more restrictive on Safari about what you can export. Um, doesn't let you export history or anything like that. But uh, for today's purposes, I'm going to export bookmarks however you can do passwords as well if you'd like to so we'll click bookmarks here and then it will ask where we want to save it to so for the sake of this video i will just export it to the desktop here um so that it's easy to find and we're just going to call it safari bookmarks and then click save now what you'll notice here is that there's a safari bookmarks html file on the desktop we can quickly preview that and you can see all of the favorites that are on there uh, as well as the bookmarks menu and tab group favorites. So that's um, exporting the bookmarks there. So now we can quit out of Safari and now we can open the new browser. In this case, we're using Google Chrome here. And then we will just, um, what we'll need to do is in Chrome, go up to the three dots here, um, the hamburger menu, and then go down to bookmarks um, and then what you can do is click import bookmarks and settings. Now, if you go to this page, this can also import, uh, other things as well. But in this case, we're using the bookmarks HTML file. Um, and we want to import favorite slash bookmarks. So now we're going to choose the file and we'll go to the desktop and then we'll choose Safari bookmarks and then click open. And then it says your bookmarks and settings are ready. So let's show the bookmarks bar here. And now it's showed and then we'll click done. So what you'll notice here, we'll just open a new tab. We've got the favorites here, which has imported all of the favorites from Safari. We can drag these out if we want to. So it's easier to find. We can click on them and it will work just as we would like them to. We can also see the bookmarks menu from Safari. It didn't have anything in it, but if there was stuff on a bookmarks bar in Safari, um, that would show up there and then also tab group favorites um, that would show up there as well but if you don't like the way this has been laid out you can drag them all out if you would like to um, so it shows it all nicely um, if you want to get rid of some of these empty uh, folders you can just right click on it and then click delete or if you want to rename it for example um, you can go right click on it and then click rename and then we could say bookmarks from Safari. And then click save, it renames it, and we could even drag things into that folder if we wanted to. So that's just a really quick and easy process on how to import uh, your bookmarks and things from one browser to another. Um, as I said, if you're going from a Chromium to another Chromium-based browser, or even Firefox or things like that, 
the process is probably a little bit simpler. You probably don't have to necessarily export everything. Sometimes it'll do it automatically. This sort of just depends on what browser you have. But hopefully you're able to follow along no matter what browser you're using. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've had some good success with this or if you have any other questions regarding this process. It's generally pretty simple. So hopefully you've had some great success in doing that. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.